Hey guys, Cam here from Pocketlint and 2020 is well underway, which means smartphone season is almost upon us again. With a virtual tidal wave of smartphones coming our way, which ones should you be looking forward to? We've come up with a list to help cherry pick some of the ones we're expecting to see in 2020 and some of the ones we're most excited about. Or since these are all based on rumors so far, this list could be entirely wrong. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Now starting with the manufacturer that's expected to launch its phones first, Samsung. It's been the flag bearer for Android for a number of years, and this year could potentially be a very interesting one because it's about to launch its second foldable smartphone. But unlike the Galaxy Fold, which already launched, this one's going to be a flip phone or a clamshell. It'll fold vertically and have a long, flexible display in the middle. And it's been speculated that it's going to be called the Galaxy Z Flip or the Galaxy Z Flip if you're not from Britain. The main feature is supposedly going to be a 6.7 inch folding display in the middle. But what makes this phone more important perhaps for Samsung is that it might give us a chance to see whether the company has learned from the mistakes it learned from the Galaxy Fold. Because that phone ended up being delayed significantly primarily because of the flexible display. And then there's the price. There have been rumors that it's going to cost less than the Galaxy Fold, but still considerably more than most people will be willing to spend on a smartphone. It's going to be about £1,500 or $1,500, depending where you're from, and that means it's a similar price to the Moto Razr, which was announced a couple of months ago. Sticking with Samsung, but moving on to the S20 series. Of course, with Samsung being the flag bearer for Android, that means the Galaxy S series comes out pretty much every year, but there's one phone we're really interested in this year, and that's the Galaxy S20 Ultra. From the sound of all the rumors and all the leaks, this looks to be the one that's going to be the most exciting because it will be packed with all the most important technological innovations that they can put in a regular candy bar style smartphone. It's claimed that it'll have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, an incredible 100 times zoom camera on the back, as well as a huge OLED screen on the front. We can't wait to see whether this one turns out to be true. Keeping with the Android world and moving on to OnePlus, and this is a company that's seen its brand grow in reputation and quality over the number of years. When it initially started making phones, they were cheap plastic phones, but crammed with all the most powerful components. Now these powerful components are put inside a more premium package, and that means they've generally increased in price considerably since they first announced their very first phone. And this year, because of that, there's rumors there's going to be a OnePlus 8 Lite alongside the 8 and the 8 Pro, which are the two more premium models. And that's big news because the company has never launched three phones at once before. In fact, it used to be a company that was known for only releasing one phone every year. But the one phone we're more interested in than the others is the 8 Pro. And OnePlus has already told us that this phone will have a 120 hertz display. And that means really fast, ultra smooth animations, which are gonna look fantastic. Now it's worth noting, we don't know whether you'll be able to really tell the difference between this panel and the 90 hertz panel they launched on previous phones, at least not to the naked eye, and not without slowing it down. We've also read from leaks and rumors that the phone is gonna be moving away from the pop-up camera and instead using a cutout punch hole camera in the front like so many other modern smartphones. And there's even been the suggestion that the company will have wireless charging for the first time. And that's a big deal because in the past, OnePlus has always said that wireless charging is inferior to its own wired charging. And a couple of years ago, that was true, but now Chinese companies have developed much faster wireless charging and actually OnePlus's sister company Oppo has already announced a 30 watt wireless charging system. And that means technically it could charge the phone just as quickly as OnePlus's 30 watt warp charge. So it'll be interesting to see if OnePlus finally does jump on board the wireless charging bandwagon this year. Now another springtime launch could be the iPhone SE 2 from Apple. Now this particular device has been rumored pretty much since the first SE went on sale a few years ago. But this time, instead of looking like an iPhone 5 or 5S, it's been rumored that it'll look more like an iPhone 8. Essentially an iPhone 8 with more powerful internals and a better camera. Which begs the question, will the iPhone 8 stick around? 
Now logic would suggest that perhaps the iPhone 8 will be discontinued because it makes little sense to have an iPhone SE 2 with more powerful internals at a cheaper price than the iPhone 8 currently is. And the rumors have suggested that it will be $400 versus the $450 of the iPhone 8. One to look out for, for sure. And then there's the iPhone 12, which we probably won't see till much later in the year, usually around the September time. There are rumors that the iPhone 12 series, which comes out later in the year, will feature 5G capabilities, and that brings it up to speed with the latest in network developments. And there's also been rumors that they're changing the design to include a much flatter edge, similar to the iPad Pro, making them look a little bit more like the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 4 devices than the previous 8, 7, and 6. So who else should you be watching this year? Well, it could be an interesting year for Oppo. You may remember about 12 months ago, it showed off a prototype of a foldable phone, which never saw the light of day. So it could be about to launch its first flexible phone. We don't really know. But then we do know, or at least the company has suggested that there's going to be a new Find X series device. Last time, the Find X was a really innovative phone with a massive screen with very little bezel, and it had this really cool pop-up mechanism in it and super fast charging. What we think is going to happen is that the Find X this year will have even faster charging, but more importantly, they're going to put something innovative in there, and that could be the in-display selfie camera. Now, unlike the punch hole cameras, this one is going to be hidden, so you won't actually be able to see the camera is there. It'll be hidden beneath the display. And again, we could see the company use its 30 watt wireless charging in an actual product that you can buy. And what about one of Oppo's compatriots, Huawei? It's barely been out of the news for the last 12 months, but not because of its phones. We've been talking about how its relationship with Google has been forced to end due to US bans, and that means it's had to develop its own software without Google Play services. Now the P40 Pro is supposedly coming out soon and it will undoubtedly have some of the best hardware around, specifically in the camera department. Will it have enough of the apps that we need to make a smartphone useful and pleasant to use? Or will they still be struggling to get app developers on board? Now we do know recently the company announced that it signed a partnership with TomTom for maps and navigation services. So at least we know there's going to be an alternative to Google Maps. So there you have it. This is by no means your extensive list, but we do have a written one on pocketlint.com. I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below, so be sure to check that out because there's other devices like the Xperia series, the Pixel 4a, and those will be coming out as well. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter. Tell me your thoughts, use the comment section down below if you want to, and don't forget to check out some of our other videos and subscribe for more videos like this one. I'll see you again soon.